Yeah, I mean, when you, you first start in, uh, you know, whether it's a truck series or the nationwide series, uh, one, you're just so happy that, that you, you've gotten that full-time ride or you've got an opportunity to go and race. You don't think about some of the, the, the scheduling and, and the, uh, you know, the appearances that you have to do and the commitments that you have to do on race weekend until you really get in the rhythm. And, and I was very fortunate to, to go into to Roush, Roush Fenway Racing and uh, started with some of the truck series. And I wasn't, uh, you know, thrown in, you know, a full-time schedule my very first year. And so I kind of could see the landscape and, you know, having a, an RV with you most every weekend, uh, you definitely think of it as, an, uh, as a luxury at first, but then it, it turns into a necessity very fast. Uh, going from city to city to city, not only packing your bags and unpacking and having to wash your clothes back and forth, uh, but, but the appearances over the race weekend and, and, and you know, just keeping your stuff, your, your suits and your helmets and, you know, your gear, your different, uh, you know, Ford racing shirts, your sponsor shirt. I, I mean, you, you can't take everything uh, ultimately uh, very efficiently uh, back and forth and so you know having a bus on the road is very nice and then my family has always been very supportive uh, of my career and, and, and tagging along wanting to be at the races and it uh, gives them a place to hang out so they're not driving the team crazy hanging out in the garage. You know we get to a track sometimes on a Wednesday but typically on a Thursday and uh, you know we have our our TV our internet you know every uh, uh, you know uh, commodity that we'd have at home and uh, you know we keep keep up to date on, on what what's going on in the world and, and review any uh, film or notes from from the day. But uh, you know we'll go. Uh, I'm getting married in, in December uh, of this year, so uh, we don't have any kids. You know we don't have uh, a bunch of people to take care of. So it's usually just Jacqueline and I. And I think the biggest thing of uh, of having you know a, a bus motorhome on the road is just consistent. You know it's always the same beds, the same you know, routine week in and week out. I can only imagine doing something different, you know, 38 weekends a year. Uh, by the time you get comfortable in your routine, it's time to pack your bags and move on somewhere else. I have driven it a few times. Uh, I've had a couple of different drivers over the years and sometimes when, you know, you're racing in Daytona one week and the very next week is, is New Hampshire, you know, that's a, a, a long drive for uh, a day or two. and. I enjoy it. You know, it, it, it is, you know, it, it, it's mine. You want to take care of it. You want to be aware of what's going on. Um, we've been fortunate to have some good guys work for me, and I feel like that, uh, that, that I can do a pretty good job. Usually the few times that I've taken it out on my own, something's torn up. You don't really think about how the show gets from track to track to track, and, and really a lot of the team members and drivers they they have it nice we're fortunate we can fly on a, a company plane a team plane private plane where we don't have to, to fly commercial usually the the media guys the guys that are setting up the the tv networks the you know the crews that uh, that, that travel or drive from track to track they're the ones that that, that really have it tough and so you know we, we race 38 races a year uh, including the two special events we test a few weekends throughout the year you know, at Daytona and some other places. So, you know, you're on the road 43, 44 weekends a year. You know, that's 200 days. You know, that, that's more than half the year you're not at your home. And so uh, we often joke that, you know, we spend more nights out of the year here in our, in our bus versus uh, in our own home in North Carolina. So it's kind of, uh, it's kind of ironic that, uh, you know, you're here on our, our house on wheels.